Hello everyone, good evening and it is day uh, 8 of my running for the NHS. Uh, so I've done uh, 2 hours running today and I've been doing t about 10 laps, 10 laps. And you can see that is, uh, that's what I'm running across uh, the yellow house. So yeah, I've been uh, just very, very, very tired, very tired today. Um, but again, it's <sighs> I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. But as you can see, um, yeah, I just right. I'm on my home run now. The yellow house is right behind me, right behind me. Uh, so, um, what have I been doing today? Well, I've been doing uh, my university work. Uh, Reading a set, getting ready for next week, which is uh, holistic engineering, and I know a bit more about it now. But I'll let you know how the lectures go next week. Um, today I've been doing uh, listening to Simon Sinek's book club, Start with Why, and it's just been really cool, really cool. It's like basically, he's the guy's a legend. He says, Eaters eat last. That basically means um, be nice to people, um, have have a vision, drive forward, and always look look out for other people around you. So that's why you go to work because people have a vision in your company. And anyway, he's written a book, Start with Why, and it's sold millions of copies. And now he's doing a ten year anniversary edition, which is even better. So it's just split it up into six parts and he's doing part six on Friday, which I can't wait for, actually I can't wait for. Um, and so what's the other things I've been doing today is um, developing my cadet unit. That There's been a closed cadet unit around here and I'm just uh, working out how to restart it, like drawing up a list of subjects with lesson plans and um, what extra stuff we can do in the training using the buildings around it and more, more, most importantly what staff I've got what other friends I can ask to help me run it and, and what training I need to do to get all my qualifications back up to standard and yeah it's just loads of admin but, but really exciting really exciting I could see that taking 50 kids from the local area easily easily there because look at it it's just it's just really nice around here loads of woodland loads of open open fields and there's a concrete area to play basketball and other sports and there's a garage area where i can even buy really cheap cars and teach the kids how to repair them, service cars, change of wheel, all sorts really. Um, I, that, that, that is really exciting and I probably would be, yeah, I need to fundraise for that project, definitely. <laughs> I reckon it's going to cost about a million quid because it, um, it needs a new roof on your hut and it needs expanding, it needs a drying room, changing rooms, um, a bigger lecture room, new projectors, new classrooms, it's just neat and it needs to go up like to your story building. So yeah, big work, yeah, it's going to cost a lot. But when it's done, it's going to be spotless, it's going to be brilliant. I mean, if I was a teenager, I would definitely go there <laughs> because it's a brilliant area, it's ideal for army style training because you're right in the middle you're right in the middle of the area so i mean yeah we, again I'd, i'll let you know how it goes um i'll let you know but again i got look yeah i'm just at the beginning of the planning stages so i'm drawing up i'd go draw up diagrams of what the building layout's gonna look like as well as, a, again, architectural diagrams, as well as a staffing plan. 
and then I got to ask people who would help me run it. Then I got to talk to Trainer Command. Then I got to talk to another Trainer Command. Then another Trainer Command. <laughs> so it's so, so many people involved to reopen a unit. But worth every bit of effort. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye for now.